What's up, everybody? Justin Watches Movies here, back for my annual Funko Pop video where I show everything that I had got for the whole year and just everything in my collection in general. I moved recently, so now I film inside this garage instead of my bedroom previously. So my Funko Pop setup is just a little bit different. Uh, this is the shelf that I film in front of my videos with. And so I have these different shelves um, go back like four deep of Funko Pops. And then you got the size here as well. So these are all filled with Funko Pops. There's uh, four rows or four columns and four rows. So there's a lot in here. And then up here I got all of my big Funko Pops, my multi-packs and everything and some other little things. So we're gonna go and show everything that is in my collection. It's a really massive video. So sit down, get comfortable, relax. We got a lot of Funko Pops to show you guys. All right, first I'm gonna start with my 10 inch Funko Pops, my uh, double packs, my just the bigger ones that normally wouldn't fit inside some of these smaller ones. So like I said, my shelf is got all these Funko Pops here. I got my display, but you haven't seen what's up here yet. I have my Pinocchio uh, figure. This is not Funko Pop, but I just have it here. And so inside this Freddy Krueger thing, this is hollow when you put your hand in it and he moves back and forth. But this is all of my little mini ones. Uh, these are from the advent calendars. I just haven't displayed them yet in here. And I think I'm losing a few. Some of these are the keychains that the keychains fallen off, like uh, the Joker here. And then um, there's like Marty McFly as well. But then I have all the ones from the newest advent calendar for the Harry Potter one lined up here they're in order my daughter and i like to open them every morning and then we come into the garage and put them in here so let's start with this one deadpool the new walmart exclusive um, my brother got this for me for christmas and then on top of that is the dino ultra zord uh target exclusive 10 inch funko pop huge power ranger fan so i had to get that one and up top there is the james bond car ride a couple mega zord ones I collect all of the Diamond Collection uh, Funko Pops. So you got the six inch, uh, six inch Baymax one. This is one of my favorite ones, the Splash Mountain ride. I can't wait to get the three pack of the Splash Mountain characters. And then we have the Harry Potter box lunch exclusive uh, entering the platform nine and three quarters. And then you have the chess piece one here. The Luke Skywalker chase with the ride, the speeder bike. Uh, these ones are special to me. My wife made these, uh, had these made for our wedding as a wedding gift. So those ones are very important to me. The Power Rangers ones from the movies, Rita and Zordon, and then the Harry Potter three pack, uh, Ginny, Fred, and George. More Harry Potter ones over here. Rubius Hagrid, uh, Parks and Rec, Tom and uh, Jean Raphael. Love that one. This is the Cornish Pixie Mandrake uh, one. This one was really expensive. I ended up buying this on Macari and uh, it was said that it was in perfect condition but the reason I have some Funko Pops on top of that one and not that one on top is because it came pretty busted so the top is really destroyed. I ended up getting my money back for it and I was still uh, liked how it looks here so I got it to kind of keep it in shape there. Uh, the Grady Twins from The Shining and then Kang and Kodos from this most recent Summer Comic Con. I'll move this, and then we got La La Land Funko Pops there. The Office, Toby versus Michael, Harry Potter, Dr. Ian Malcolm. And then this is from the HQ in Everett, Washington. I live near it, about an hour away, so I got that one. It's the only dorb I do have in um, box. I do have the Power Ranger dorbs, but that's I had to get that one. The Indiana Jones ride. Captain Hook movie moment, the Basilisk, and then back here we have we have the Dragon Zord back here from Power Rangers. All right, first up is the James Bond Funko Pops. We got a lot from the original line and then some from the new line. I don't have everyone just yet. We've got some from Sean Connery, Toys R Us. Some of the common ones, Barnes & Noble exclusive. Some of these are the most recent ones that they've started, like uh, the Daniel Craig from, here you got Quantum of Solace and Kino, Casino Royale. Got Pierce Brosnan from GoldenEye. And then the last one, the Odd Job, the Target exclusive where he's holding his hat versus wearing the hat. All right, here's some of my horror movie Funko Pops. I've been really getting into the Chucky line lately. There is a FY exclusive one I don't have yet, but so you got the Chucky in the car and then Walmart Chucky. 
And then the new one, Good Guy Chucky. And then we got Jason up here on the top. We also got some of the newest ones, uh, Michael Myers Hot Topic. You got Walgreens exclusive, Jason Voorhees, the Jack Torrance Chase, which is one of my favorite chases of all time. And then we got Norman Bates here as well. And then we also got Leatherface, the pretty uh, woman mask. This was part of a box. I ended up just buying the Funko Pop separately on Makari. Here's my Parks and Rec and Lost collection. I don't have the regular Andy Dwyer. I do got the Burt Macklin one and the Ron Swanson uh, one, the exclusive Comic-Con one. And then I'm missing, they have the one with the mouse rat shirt, but that one's hard to get. And then we have some of the Lost collection. I don't have them all. I used to, but I just didn't want them. Um, so I have these ones here. I don't have Jacob and the Man in Black. So those are the only ones I did not want to get because I just didn't feel like they were the strongest characters in the show because these ones are my favorite characters. Here's my Pokemon collection. I refuse to get into the 10 inch ones and the flocked ones. And there was also like a different Pikachu. I'm sticking to just these ones because they will get out of hand if I do start collecting every single one. I know there is an Eevee one coming soon, but there's a 10 inch one we'll not get. I will not get into the 10 inch ones. Just these regular ones are fine. Here's my Star Wars, Marvel, and DC collection. I don't do much of these because once I said like the Pokemon, they will get out of hand. These are some of my favorite ones. Young Anakin Skywalker and Darth Vader and Rey. Uh, I like this one from Ray. I named my daughter after her, but I really like that uh, design for that one. Then we got the Green Goblin, which I've always wanted to have. Doc Ock, the Catwoman, Bombshell Chase, and Wonder Woman as well. Here's some of my Dr. Seuss ones. Got the Grinch and Grinch Chase and the Lorax. I do have some in my classroom, like the Fox and Socks, as well as um, Sam I Am. And then we got the Digimon ones over here. Hopefully there are some more Digimon ones. I know they weren't really popular, but I do like how these ones look. Here's some ones that I got series of three, and I got three of the Freddy Funkos, the baseball one. The, these two are from the headquarters. Then the um, Count Chocula, the cereals, Boo Berry and Frankenberry. And then the three Yogi Bear characters, Boo Boo, Yogi Bear, and Ranger Smith. I absolutely love this series. Then here I have some movie ones and miscellaneous ones as well. Let's go to the bottom row here. We got Pee Wee and Charlie Bucket, Vernon Huff, Clark Griswold, Bugs, Scott Pilgrim, and then Chucky from Rugrats. Got the Chase for Tommy, Dr. Evil. They're all out of order, but I do have like, I do have the two 21 Jump Street ones. And then up here we got Ferris Bueller, Popeye. Got Shaggy up there, Kevin. Kowalski from Penguins, and then these, I too recently just bought, these are two bucks at Hot Topic. I got Kubo and Jack the Lamp Lighter. Then here I some have some other movie ones, Scooby and Harry and Kevin, the uh, Target exclusive with the hat. Dr. Emmett Brown, Austin Powers, Del Doback, Immortan Joe, and Dom Toretto. Next up is my MLB collection. We got King Felix, who just was a free agent from the Mariners, Edgar Martinez, Ichiro, Ken Griffey, I had uh, Nelson Cruz, but I ended up getting rid of it since he's now not playing with the Mariners. And we've got two of the mascots, the Mariner Moose, the old one, and then the Rangers captain. Um, I've tried, I am trying to get all of the different mascots, but they haven't been a priority right now for me. But I did get this one free part of a, like, I, I think a deal at ThinkGeek. So... That's all I got so far for MLB. Next up is one of my bigger lines. These are all my Power Ranger Funko Pops. I would like to get the morphine ones where they're kind of clearer looking, but I do got all of the new recent ones, the 25th anniversary uh, Power Rangers one with their mask off. We got the Hot Topic Rita, Walmart exclusive Alpha 5, Lord Zed, then the Dragon Shield Red Ranger, Lord Draken from the PX preview exclusive one, Got those ones up there, Trini, Rita, and Pudgy Pig. Next up is my office collection. They just started doing these and I jumped all over it. They had put out so much. I think there's just one that I'm missing, the Dwight where he has the CPR doll's face cut off on his face. I think it's FYI, I just haven't got that yet. But we got Daryl, Andy, Target exclusive, the only at go date Mike, Golden Face Jim, Pam, this one I was kind of disappointed with. It came with a shirt, but the box was completely destroyed. 
And so I put it just in this the protector here. We got regular Dwight. They love doing Dwight ones. Michael as classy Santa as the elf. Michael Scott, Kevin, the Jim Chase, Dwight, Shroot, the Hay King. Jim Helper, dress up as Dwight. You got the one with the bubble head, the Comic Con exclusive prison mic. You got there, the more of the holiday ones, the uh, Funko Pop exclusive, uh, shop exclusive, three hole punch Jim, and then regular Jim as well. Next up is my diamond collection uh, Funko Pops. These are all through Hot Topic. These are just the Disney ones. I don't do any of the DC ones. And there's one more coming out in January. I think it's Mushu from Mulan. Let's go through some of these ones here. I love collecting these. It's like a tradition that every month or so they'll release one and me and my daughter will go get them. I love collecting them. They're so cool looking and I know that they might be just copies of other ones but there's only a couple of these that actually have the original one for. So it's cool that I get to collect all these different ones. I think uh, Rafiki with Simba is the only one that I have as original one and I think Miguel was one of the most recent ones they did. Next is my Simpsons, the Treehouse of Horror and the regular ones. I don't have many of the old ones. Those ones are expensive but I do got some of these new ones that they just put out. I don't have a Radioactive Man, Grandpa Simpson, Mo, or Mr. Burns. Maybe one day. Um, but here are some of the other ones I just got. Got the Hot Tub exclusive. Then these are the new Trios of Horror ones, which I absolutely love. These are two Comic-Con exclusive ones from New York, and then we got the original uh, five that they had here as well. Next up is my Disney line. Don't got too much, but these two are my favorite ones right here. Pinocchio from the Pop in a Box exclusive with Jiminy Cricket on his nose, and the original Pinocchio. I love this one right here. I need to get the Jiminy Cricket one to complete these set here. Merida, Time, Scrooge McDuck, a couple Lion King ones here some Hot Topic exclusives, and the Dopey Chase. And next up, the last one is my biggest line ever, and that is the Harry Potter Funko Pops. I try to collect them all, every single one. There is some that I am missing, but this line just keeps coming out, and I just keep buying. So let's go through some of these ones right here. We got the most recent ones, the new ones from like the Goblet of Fire. Moving along. Remus Lumpin as Warwolf is pretty cool there. Nearly Headless Nick. These aren't Harry Potter, but I just had those there. Uh, some Comic-Con exclusives, Barnes & Noble exclusive. The only chase I've ever done was in a box, and I got that one, and I have the other one as well, just a regular Sirius Black. But we got some other ones here. Luna. Some BAM exclusive ones, Hot Topic. Got Ron Weasley. Moni Myrtle, Remus, Hermione as the cat, Victor, moving along there, it's not there at the top. That's not all of them. That's not all the ones I have. Down here I got the other Sirius Black, the flocked one, Ron Weasley, Fox. So I usually just stack them like that. I would like to display them a little bit better, but I, it's kind of hard right now. Uh, Bloody Baron. Harry with the egg, Dumbledore. There we have the younger Tom Riddle from Chamber of Secrets. A couple there, the other Sirius Black, and um, McGonagall is the cat. Bellatrix, Ron, that's a FYE exclusive one there. Then we got Draco. I think this has got his broom. This is a Hot Topic exclusive one. My daughter broke off the broom. I used to have a lot of these out of boxes, but she ended up playing with them, and so I ended up putting them back in the boxes for now. We have Fox, the flocked one, and then George Weasley, and Harry Potter as well. So, not how I would like to display my Funko Pops, but that's what's got to be done right now. And these ones here are some of the most recent ones I've got. I don't have all the new ones from the Yule Ball. We got Cho Chang, Severus Snape, George, and Fred. We got Ginny over here. New Hot Topic, Flocked Buckbeak, Padma. I don't have her sister just yet. Um, so there's a couple ones I do need. And there's a Baltimore one with uh, the snake around his neck that I don't have what I'd like to get. So there you guys have it. I gotta put all these ones back. All my Funko Pops that I own, they're all down here. They're all stacked back there. I kind of been putting them in order. Um, got the horror ones, the diamond collection, the office ones, 
some miscellaneous ones down there. Disney movies. Harry Potter is like these first three ones. And I'm going to have to put them down here in this bottom box down there. So there you guys have it. All of my Funko Pops. Look how much I have. Too many. I know. It's crazy. Uh, but I love collecting Funko Pops. And I've always have. Um, I wish that I would have started back in like 2012, 11 when they first started. That would have been really cool to get some of those older ones. But here's everything I do own. And I will do another video like this at the end of 2020, beginning of 2021, show off everything that I have gotten this year. So thank you guys for checking out this video. My name is Just Watch Movies, and you guys stay classy, YouTube.